say hi? No? Okay. Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Karis and I make crochet amigurumi plushies. <laughs> yeah. This is Rain, if you want to say hi. She is a grumpy kitty <laughs> and she likes to sit on the top of my chair. Currently Sunday the 28th of January and I have so many works in progress that I need to get done. I've been putting this off for a while now but I've got plenty of things that need to be done including the jumbo elephant that I talked about in the last video vlog that I did where this is one of his ears. <laughs> I need to finish this elephant and get him done off of my desk. I need to also finish this blue dragon that is not done yet because I was waiting on yarn but I have the yarn now so we need to finish him and then I also have some miscellaneous projects like some chubby dinos that need to be finished another luxury bag that I was working on I want to finish and oh my goodness guys look look at this pattern like this is just absolutely gorgeous I'm so excited about this one it's so pretty like the detail is just Ugh, oh, my favorite thing I've ever made. <laughs> there is one thing though, I think I was crocheting just a little bit too tight when I was making this, so the corners are like coming up a little bit. I'm not really sure what's a good way to fix that. So if you have any ideas, please, please save my bag and put them in the comments. <laughs> I also have a baby blanket. Oh, oh my goodness. A baby blanket that I was working on for my mother-in-law and my niece. So I want to go ahead and finish this up because it's been a little bit since I've worked on this and I want to get it done so that they can get it sent out to my niece. So I want to finish this and all of those other projects and we'll see how many we can get done today. I also want to mention I'm so excited about this, you guys. Like, you have no idea. I am currently in the process of getting pattern testers for this cute little sleepy time bear. You guys, look at how adorable. Oh my goodness, look. He's got a little pillow with a heart on it. His hat comes off, you guys, you guys. I am in love with this pattern. I'm trying to make more patterns this year so that I can put them up on my Etsy and also offer them on my YouTube as well. Anyway, so I'm doing pattern testing for that little guy. So now would be a great time to start working on the works in progress and getting all of that clutter off of my desk and my room into my completed bin so that we can get more plushies ready for this market that's coming up in two months. They have over 250 vendors at this market. It's the OK Go market in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm so excited because I haven't been to a market that has well over 250 vendors and is super popular. They have like a catalog that they give to everybody for like all of the vendors and stuff. So uh, I am excited. I really hope this one's a good market. So we will cross our fingers and hope for the best but we need tons of inventory so let's get started on these whips <laughs> so quick outfit change because i decided to take a shower so don't mind the wet hair and different clothes <laughs> it's still the same day so it is currently one o'clock in the afternoon and i think the first work in progress that i want to tackle is the baby blanket so we're gonna go ahead and get started on that there's really not a lot that i have to do on this project there's only one skein left for the project so it's really only gonna take me i'm assuming maybe an hour or so to finish this up by the way the yarn that my mother-in-law got for it is the juicy couture yarn that is specific to Joann's. I think it's a new brand that they launched. It's so soft, you guys. I really, I'm so glad that I got to work with it because I've never tried it before and I've heard so much about it. And so far, I'm really liking it. It's a nice, thin, lightweight velvet yarn. So I'm just gonna keep working on this until the yarn runs out. And then we'll be done with a baby blanket. So I already messed up. <laughs> It's been quite some time since I worked on this baby blanket and I'm just freehanding it. I'm not following a specific pattern. I couldn't remember what I ended up doing for the middle row. What happened was I started with a row of half double crochets and then the next row was double crochets and then the next row after that was 
back post, front post, double crochets. And then I just repeated that, but I kind of forgot what I did. I forgot what, what it was and like I did the half double crochet row as a double crochet row and so I had to like pull that out and restart. So technically I've made zero progress, but now we are on the right track of finishing this. I definitely need to not put off my work in progresses for too long because I'm gonna forget what I was doing or what hook I was using or I need to just like make a note or something of that if I know I'm not gonna come back to it for a little bit of time so that this does not happen. <laughs> So it's been an hour, it's like 2.20 right now, and I'm almost done with using up all the yarn, but I think I'm about to be playing Yarn Chicken because I have this much left and this much of a row to do. So I don't know if this is gonna make it or not, I really hope it does, but I am super worried. And I am ending on my front post, back post, double crochet row. And I really wasn't trying to do that, I wanted to end on a half double crochet row. So I might end up putting a border around the blanket. I might do like a little white border or something just to kind of finish it up and make it look a little bit more clean and uniform. But I really hope that this yarn lasts to finish this row. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> it's not looking hopeful. Ah, uh, dang it. Man, I'm still gonna keep going because <laughs> I want to be sure, but I am 99% sure this is not enough yarn to finish this row the way I wanted to. So I'm probably gonna have to redo this row with potentially single crochets. <laughs> yep, here we are at the end of our line here and we still had this much more to go. It made it so far. <laughs> oh goodness me. Okay, well, it looks like we are gonna have to just frog it. So I guess I'll just be doing single crochet rows. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do single crochets across and hopefully this will be enough. We just finished the last row of single crochets. This, the lighting keeps changing so weird when I put up this blanket because it's like bright pink. Like look at what it's doing. <laughs> My goodness. Anyway, we just finished it. So it's not it's not a massively big blanket, it's just a, a small blanket for my little niece. I believe she's one or two, so she's a little toddler. She's a little tiny kid. But this is how much we had left over after doing the single crochets. So I'd call that a win, I guess. <laughs> Work in progress one is officially finished. Now all I have to do is just cut and tie in the ends and we've got our first product done. Now I have to take a break. It is almost three o'clock and I have to finish my taxes. <laughs> Hopefully that's not gonna take too long. We've been doing them for like the last two days now, <laughs> but we're almost done with them. So we're gonna finish those up and then we are going to continue on with work in progress number two. Okay friends, we're back. It is now 4.42. It took a little bit longer than I thought to get my taxes done. And then I took a break to eat and chat with a little bit of family. So now we are back on track to finishing more works and progresses. I think the next one that I'm going to conquer is my dragon. <laughs> All the parts are pretty much done for the dragon. The only thing that I need to make still are two ears for his head and then one more wing because I have one wing and I need two. So those are the things that we're going to make and then after that we're going to put everything together which is going to be a lot of sewing and add the first stripe all the way down his back. Also, before I forget, this project I was using Sweet Snuggles Light. I don't remember the name of this color, but it's weight six fluffy yarn. And then I'm using a seven millimeter crochet hook. So that's one of the reasons why he's pretty big. <laughs> Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home. Oh, oh, oh. I hate all this overthinking. Oh, 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 oh. The more I swim, 
So we have finished both ears now and we have two wings. So now all that's left is to sew all of these pieces together and add the fur on the back. This is a lot of pieces. <laughs> Okay, so it is now 7.23 at night. I finally finished sewing all of the pieces on and look at this cutie. This big old blue icy dragon. I am so proud and happy with this little guy. He's so cute. So that is a work in progress number two that we finished and yet still so many more to go. <laughs> I even found another one that I have to do. I found this chubby dino that uh, was sitting out in my living room on the bookshelf just kind of chilling <laughs> and I like did his body but never finished the rest of it. So <laughs> I've got another one to add so I took care of two and added another one. So technically we've only made a progress on one work in progress, but it's a start, okay? It's enough. <laughs> Since it is getting pretty late, I probably am going to stop on the works in progress. I need to go through all of my inventory that I have in my container right now and just make a list of things that I need to make more of that I have listed on my Etsy and that usually sell really well, well at craft fairs. That way I know what I need to make and I can have it made in advance. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next and last for this vlog. So let's go ahead and do that. So we switched locations into the living room. The lighting is really not that great. So sorry about that. <laughs> but I have my tub of inventory that I currently have and I need to go through it and just start making a list of things that I need to make more of because I have a lot of small things that I have listed on my Etsy and that I bring to the craft fairs that I kind of sold out of for the la in the last month or so and I really need to make more of those items.
All right, we are done. Again, the lighting is so awful. I'm so sorry about that. But I have written up my game plan here. No, it's backwards in the camera. Okay, I'm sorry about that. But I'll show you a, a different view in a second. <laughs> so you can read it if you want to. This is all my game plan of all of the items that I need to make more of so that I have enough inventory to feel confident and comfortable in the market that's coming up in two months. Oh, hello. Back in there. This definitely seems quite ambitious, I do believe. There's definitely tons of stuff on here that I have to do. Some big projects are up here with the chubby dinos and the jellyfish. The chunky mushroom boys don't take too long. And then it just kind of goes in descending order of how long, how small things are. I do want to have an ample stock of these things, which is why I wrote like the numbers that you see here are how many I need to make of each and in what color so that I have enough or what I feel like is enough. Tons of things to create. I think there's well over a hundred items. I actually, I know there's well over a hundred items on here. So hopefully we can pr knock this out maybe in the next month or so and get some good progress on this. I was really enjoying making new projects and jumbo projects as you've seen in my previous vlogs that I came out with not too long ago, but I need to really buckle down and get some of this existing stock up before I try any more new patterns. So in the coming weeks you will see my progress on that and how well I do with that. <laughs> but at least we have a really good idea now of what needs to be done. I love making lists like this because it just makes me feel so much more comfortable with all of the stock that I'm bringing. So especially if it's going to be like a really big market, I want to make sure I can make the most at this market that I'm capable of making. So this is good. <laughs> My cat is currently stealing like half of my chair. So I can't really like sit in all of it because I feel bad if I move him. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this crochet vlog. I hope to come out with more here soon. So definitely be sure to subscribe to catch more of those. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.